I'm Kelsey Besson, and I'm a program scientist for NASA's Ocean Biology and Biogeochemistry program. I'm introducing the challenge Ocean Gardens. Imagine you visit a landlocked region where none of its inhabitants have ever been to the ocean. Yet every single day they've been alive, we know they breathe oxygen generated by marine photosynthesis, benefit from the lower carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and consume food that was fueled by marine ecosystems. Your challenge here is to create a platform that visually, sonically, and interactively connects the services the ocean provides to anyone that visits the platform in a way that they can best understand. For background, the ocean makes up 70% of Earth by area and up to 95% of the volume habitable for life on Earth. Half of all of the new biomass on Earth in terms of rates is from marine phytoplankton, which are unicellular plant-like organisms that perform photosynthesis. These phytoplankton form the base of the entire ocean ecosystem, and they not only provide food for other animals in the sea, but they also absorb carbon dioxide and provide a link for carbon sequestration. There are big gaps in ocean literacy in the United States, and many people do not recognize the giant role the ocean plays in our everyday lives. We are faced with pretty big challenges. Limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius would require carbon dioxide removal on the order of 100 to 1,000 gigatons carbon dioxide in the next century. And I almost said insurmountable, but they're not insurmountable because we are equipped with very creative minds, and that level of effort will surely create a better future. We know that the food and energy insecurity have been exasperated by climate change, conflict, and disease, with global energy demands only expected to grow. Ocean solutions, including deep seabed mining, have been suggested as ways to support shifting to renewable energy and increasing food supply. Industries have begun exploratory extractive activities, and meanwhile, our scientific understanding of these impacts on the activities is trailing behind. There is a sense of urgency to educate voters on the role the ocean plays in their life so that they can make informed decisions about future policies. We know science is a primary avenue by which the public and lawmakers understand and value ocean ecosystems. So how can we make science more accessible and translatable to others? Here, the overall goal of the challenge is to convey the ocean's importance to people in ways that they can best understand. For example, one could view the ocean as a garden, where phytoplankton are growing at different rates similar to vegetables on land. Basically, through a combination of techniques, could be visual, sound, software, video, or even cartoons and comedy, participants will create a platform that will introduce the ocean and its services to people who are assumed to have very little prior knowledge. We support a platform of, of any variety um, that is most suited to the goals that the participants see with this challenge, including a website, an app, a YouTube video, performance, coloring book, etc. We really look forward to seeing your submissions. Thank you.